friends so good morning it's nice to have you back here so today it was a little bit different of how i wanted to start my video because i wanted to show you a little bit of my routine and i wanted to take you with me along the day this is actually how the video is going to go to see how a day in the life is going by and because today is saturday as the moment when i'm filming this i actually have time to film my routine so you can see a little bit of what i'm doing so I usually start my morning with having my tea. I have this supplement tea and aloe from the Herb Black Nutrition. I'm not sponsored, but this is what I've been consuming for the past 10 years. I usually take my supplements also from them, the vitamins, the B vitamins, calcium and everything. And then afterwards, I usually like to open the door to get some fresh air and today I actually have a lot of snow so I am super excited to go into the city and have a little bit of fun and playfulness and afterwards of course what I'm actually doing is that I write in my journal, I journal, I try to do it every morning or at least to just write things that I'm grateful for and I read a little bit. So right now my current read is this one, How to do the work by Dr. Nicole Lepera. I actually heard about her the first time on Instagram. I started to follow her because she was posting a lot of interesting information about trauma, emo emotions and how to regulate your nervous system. And it has been such a big help for me in the past year to understand how this works because I was in a lot of stress as you, as you, as you know from my previous video of uh, how, how my transition was. I was constantly stressed and I was looking for ways to calm myself and to integrate all these new lives, all these new sensations into my day-to-day -day lives. So yeah, this is usually my morning routine and of course my makeup and everything. However, today I'm not going to, to do this and that's why I have such a bare face because I'm actually going to try something for the very first time today. I'm going to have lash extensions. So I'm super curious how this is going to how is, how this is going to turn out. So I will keep it minimum. I will also meet with friends. I will I will just want to enjoy outside because it looks it looks amazing. So yeah, today we're going to enjoy a little bit of Munich. So let's go. Sunday, so we are in Garmisch and today we're going to explore the city. 
because it's very close to us and actually we have never I have never explored it. I told my boyfriend, okay, we have a few hours. Let's let's see around what we can find. So far it's snowy but it's warming up and yeah, let's go. I'm curious what we will see. <laughs> I'm so excited about this new week. I hope anyone had an amazing weekend with friends, with family or by yourself if you actually need this. I'm super excited by the way with the result of my eyelashes. I feel amazing and I think I will repeat the experience because it's actually very easy to very easy to maintain. So I'm super super excited to film more vlogs with it. However, the main thing is that I wanted to finish a little bit and give you some tips on the morning routines that I started to talk about yesterday because I think it's one of the most important things that anyone should have on point in their lives if they want to have a high vibration and a good energy on a day-to-day -day basis. I had different moments of my life when I had routines and moments when I did not have routine and I can clearly see the difference how efficient it is when you start your morning in the right way when you put the first information in your brain the right one the, for your mindset in the past when i was little i used to start my morning with watching the news because that's what my parents were doing and with a very unhealthy breakfast which would translate immediately in a very bad mood and in a very bad state of energy because i was always tired i was always sleeping on the desk in school I could not function for three hours. It was mostly because of my breakfast and this is one of the things that I want to emphasize that I actually did in my routine and that I'm doing for the last 10 years is that I have a nutritional breakfast. There are many options and anyone is free to choose what it feels good for them. So this was a perfect solution for me together with a healthy tea, a herbal mix, with aloe, this is for cleaning the interior of my body, for starting my digestion and giving me energy. And this is my alternative instead of coffee. Of course, a lot of water, a lot of hydration, and of course, my The supplement. second thing that I do in the morning is, of course, to organize a little bit my house, either to clean a little bit if I have things unsolved from the last previous day, or to make my bed. This is, of course, very important because it's, it's the first task that you that you finish and that gives your brain the signal that okay i already achieved something and of course reading feeding my brain with positive information with positive things that i can learn that i can use for myself and this is of course replacing the news that i was watching as a child this is major because i had days sometimes when i would just scroll on social media and of course i would see a lot of news a lot of information that was coming into my brain and that and then I, as the day was going by i was realizing that i was feeling anxious i was feeling fearful and then i was thinking oh, where is this coming from why is it happening right now on this day and then i would remember okay what happened in the morning my routine okay i scrolled on social media for hours i read about this and this and this and how the world is dying and how the world is exploding and how the world is standing and how the world is ending so of course I have the exact vibration in myself. This is the information that is now running in my head. So I try to switch it all the time and I try to read really something that can influence me and impact me positively. And I encourage you to find easy books, personal development, spirituality. Why not about business or something that can help? And you don't have to do it more than 10 or 20 minutes in the morning. It's more than enough. And I hear a lot of people saying that I don't have time or that I don't find the time to, to read. But if you put, if you really watch it on the clock, it's not so much and it makes such a big difference. It's about priorities. And this is something that I came to realize with myself and with the clients that I used to work in my coaching business before, that 
if you want to change your life, if you want to see a positive impact, you have to see which are your priorities. If your priority is to feel good, if your priority is to grow, to grow a business, to develop something, then your priority should be your disciplines, your daily disciplines. And what you do, everything influences your result that you get. I don't think that there's a right routine that everyone should follow strictly. There, that's such a bullshit because we have such different lives, such different backgrounds. For me personally, it works to do things a little bit differently. For example, I like to train more in the afternoon after I already ate and I have a little bit of energy or I prefer to meditate in the middle of the day, which kind of goes against everything that you will hear about meditation, either morning or afternoon. But for me, that's how it works because I feel that after the first half of the day, when I'm already very stressed or I have a lot of information in my head, meditation is the moment when I stop everything and I just relax and I can continue the rest of the day much better. So you have to see what works for you. An important thing that you might want to keep in mind when it comes to routine and habits is that it takes a while until your body registers that as a normality so more specifically it takes 21 days to create a new habit and it takes approximately three to six months for your body to feel it like something normal and to do it like on autopilot until then and especially in the first 21 days it can feel like you're going against your body with a lot of things because your body right now is in the routine of not doing something or not doing anything or doing a certain routine that is not healthy for yourself so of course when you want to change it the body will be no we are not used to that we want to have this comfort that we had so far if you change this we are going out of our comfort zone and this doesn't feel right doesn't feel safe so you have to learn how to go against the body and here comes in play the motivation and the mindset that you get to do what you want keep your goal in mind create the habits and the routines around it and you will see that in no time you will create a, a whole different life so as we approach the ending of this video let me know in the comment what new routines or what new habits do you want to implement in your life in 2022 according to your goals of course and if you feel like sharing also your goals feel free to do it i just like to read about your manifestations and i love to connect with the rest of the community if you found this video helpful give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel because i would like to have you here as part of our community and see you next time with a new video bye